Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Amy. And we are the, the Road, Road Roamers. Roamers. Yes, uh, a few years back we decided that you don't have a thousand years to live, guys. And so we decided to just go crazy. Are we crazy? We've been called crazy. We've been called, We've been crazy. called crazy. Yes, we have. <laughs> And so what we've decided to do is just go crazy and uh, do something really nuts and go full-time RVing, something we've always wanted to do. And so we're going to go over three things today, why uh, we did it, uh, how we did it, and what we are doing now, okay? And so we'll be right back after this. So we're back, and uh, we just want to start out with um, why we decided to go full-time. I guess the num number one would be we've always had a dream. We have, since, since before we were married. Yes. We said we wanted to retire and travel in an RV. That's right. We've uh, been camping a lot since we met. Matter yeah. of fact, even before we were married, we were camping. We were. And... Um, so we decided to uh, just let this thing grow and, and begin to um, uh, begin to just get more you know bigger campers go from tents to tents, a pop up to a pop up to a second pop up to a second pop up, pop -up. yes a big one <laughs> and then we uh, we had a break for a, quite a long time we did the kids we had three kids yes. and they got to a point where. They just were too busy for us to really do much camping. And if you have kids and you've grown up with them camping, you probably know. The baseball, the soccer, the softball, the dance, the, you know, theater. Right. We were involved in so many different things. Yeah. It just meant we needed to focus on them and take a break um, once they were, you know, pretty much right. teenagers. Had we known what we know now, a lot of uh, people have taken their kids on the road. Uh, we may have tried to do this earlier. 100%. Um, but, you know, so, you know, we we did wait, you know, and uh, it was a long time uh, coming. Um, it was, I guess, number two reason would be it's, it's the right time. It was the right, right. time. Um, so uh, back in 2016... Back in 2016, it was uh, it was a rough year. Uh, my brother passed away uh, very early on. Um, it was uh, he was 63 years old. He never had a chance to retire, and um, we kind of looked at each other and said, you know, after that happened, we're like, what are we doing? Are we just going to um, work the rest of our lives and and possibly never get a chance to retire because? Uh, Steve never had a chance to retire, and um, I felt really bad about that. And so I was just like, we have to do something, you know, maybe even to honor him, you know. And um, and uh, I think that sometime, sometime this will work into eventually, um, you know, set up something for... He, he, he died of a disease called MSA, that's multiple systems atrophy. It's not a really well-known disease, not like, you know, like ALS, um, Lou Gehrig's disease, um, or um, Hodgkin's disease, or Just, there's, a ton there's a bunch of diseases that are that known, are, yeah. but this is not a really well-known one, and um, it, it, it's kind of a horrible disease. It, it kind is. of takes over your whole body, 
and um, and it, it Your ends, muscles, up, as it says, it the atrophy. atrophy. Yes, and so um, it was. It was not. A, it was not a fun time. Um, but we decided let's let's do something. Let's do something a little crazy. And we got the idea like how, like once you get the idea in your head um, to do something, you've got to figure out okay, we want to do this, but how are we going to do it? So we came up with a plan. You know, let's just sell our house. Now our house, we basically built this house. It was a beautiful house. Um, it was a uh, two box modular that we put on set on this land, and we did a lot of work. I was well, literally we up stick there. Stick built the bottom level. We stick built the bottom, and the garage. A, a custom design built yes. modular on top. It was right. two box. So I had a thirty by thirty garage with a. Uh, like a, basically an office towards the back of the garage and then an area where you'd go up the stairs to the upstairs. And so, um, you know, we did so much of this house, built this house, and it was a really hard decision, at least for me anyway. Um, uh, the location for Amy wasn't so good, and for me, either, I got to, to the fact that I didn't really like the cold anymore. <laughs> um, we did have a storm that was 38 inches of snow just before we left to go do this. In 12 so, hours. Yeah, in 12 hours. The, it was the most, and I've lived here my whole life, I've never seen a storm like oh, this. Mostly. I've never seen, you know, uh, you know, Amy hasn't lived here her whole life. She's from Illinois, but you know, she's lived here a long time and we've never seen anything like that. No. And I think that was like the icing on the cake for it us. It was the final straw to precipitate the sale faster than what we were imagining to do. Right. So we hadn't planned on it. But let me tell you, since 2016, when his, bro his brother died and literally three and a half weeks later, his father died. Now his mother That's had right. passed away years before from a genetic disease. Yes. So when we looked at each other, we're like, you know, what are we doing? Let's do this sooner. Um... That was in early 2017, and so we started planning, yes. and we started looking, and we started figuring out what we thought we wanted and what we, you know, knew I wanted. So there were certain things we wanted, but in the end, because we bought this where we're sitting before we sold the house, we, and we had a different vehicle in F-150. Yes. So then we bought what we could tow with the F-150. Yeah. So before we went full-time, um, once we sold the house, we upgraded the truck to an F-350. So, yes. you know, you know we and, have no problems towing the payload, the right. whole thing Yeah, and selling the house was not as easy as we originally thought. No. When we first listed it, it was a two-bedroom house. As I spoke before, we had an office downstairs and two bedrooms upstairs. And Amy came up with this amazing idea to turn this uh, to office lose downstairs, my office. to lose her office, <laughs> and to turn that into a third bedroom. And it was ingenious what she came up with. Um, it, it was just how she made the, the hallway. I lost a little bit of my shop you lost area. Some workshop. I lost Turned my that office. into a hallway. <laughs> because you can't have a door coming from a garage into a bedroom directly. It's just no, not code. It's, it's not code. So we made a hallway from the entryway into this, put an egress window in, built a closet. Beauti it, it, it came out beautiful. It had um, a half bath already attached to it. So yes. we just we repurposed the half bath. Um, That's right. Put the new um, sink and yep. stuff in it, and it did ship. It was just gorgeous. It, was it, gorgeous. it just came out great. And and when we when we showed the house, when Amy Amy does real estate, so she was uh, we, she basically set the house up so it would look really nice to to show, uh, and it showed very really well. Um, and it was just a short period of time after uh, we well, listed we had, it. We actually had someone offer us before we listed, and I turned exactly. it down. Said they would have to wait till us list it. So we ended up with three offers. Um, I kind of did it different. Yeah. Listed it, and I didn't show it for a few days. We have delayed showings in New Hampshire, so yeah. I did that. And then we were going away for four days, so. When the offers came in, I, I said right on the multiple listing service, we weren't responding to any offers till the following week. Yeah. So we didn't respond to offers till a week after we had listed it. Right. But we had three offers right away. Yeah. So the original time we thought we could sell it to bedroom turned out to be better. 
to wait because the market just went crazy. Yeah, started going so there crazy. we go back to it was the right time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that that did that did work out great for us. Um, sometimes uh, you know things no, no doesn't mean never, and and it's a, it's a blessing in disguise sometimes when you don't sell something. You think it's your timing, but really it's more like God's timing. And I had no intention of moving in the winter again. And we moved in the winter. Like oh, he said, that snowstorm, ever... I just kind of said, that's it. Let's list it. Let's get out of here. Let's go. So we listed it in December. Yeah. Closed on it beginning of February. Yeah. And, and just <laughs> moving everything out of the house. I'm, I'm not going to kid you guys. It, it was a rough time for the two of us to empty out that many years of stuff out of the house and to try to sell a lot of it get rid of a lot of it and still end up with some stuff that we've had uh to, we've had to store um, but we're going to work on that as well but um it it is doable it's doable guys doable. you can do it i mean i'm 61 years old and and if i can do this you can do this um we were able to do it we rushed and rushed and rushed to, to meet the deadline so the, the woman could move into her house that she was buying from us. And um, then we moved into uh, Amy's parents' house for a while and was getting like the, the camper ready. <laughs> and uh, we were rushing to do that. And then we realized, hey, the four days longer than you thought you had, you don't have. Explain to them what happened there. So we closed on the house and we weren't going to leave immediately. And we looked at the weather, and the weather was not good. Like, all over mm -hmm. the East Coast, the weather was just not good. And if we didn't leave literally pretty much the next day, yeah, we were going to be stuck here at least two weeks. At least two so weeks. So we got up we, early we, the next morning, finished loading, just throwing stuff left and right. Oh, my gosh, what a mess. There were literally three storm <laughs> systems converging on the East Coast. One leaving, one coming, another one coming after that. It was crazy. And so within four hours, we literally had everything that we, we just started throwing stuff in. So we ultimately, we ended up. I don't recommend up, it. No. Don't. We ended up with stuff we didn't need. And we left we, stuff we, we needed. We left stuff we needed that we had to <laughs> ship to us. It was crazy. Well, we had to, we rebought a few things. We shipped home some, back to my parents' house some things we didn't need. Oh, man. It was kind of, it was crazy. There was one little was area crazy. on the way down where the, it, the the road was a little bit, could have been a little bit icy. icy mm. And that was the, the sketchiest part. Uh, we'll get into some altitude. Uh, but other than that, once we got into, like, Georgia. North I, Carolina. North Carolina. I yeah. knew we were home free. And what a feeling that was. And our, you know, our first stop was, uh, you know, that we actually stayed was in Florida, and uh, what a what a wonderful feeling that was yeah. to to finally reach warm weather, and to get through those storms. And that's yeah. what happens in life. You go through storms in life, and uh, it's it's how you handle them that 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 really makes a difference. Right. So we, a lot of people say we're crazy, and this is a few reasons. Oh, you're going from a house to like a tiny little camper. Mm. I could never do that. Well, you can. Yes, you but can. But you have to want to. Yeah. So if anyone could do what we're doing, they just have to want to do it. Not everyone wants to do it. We understand it, but we're having a blast. Oh, yeah. We, um, like I said, we wanted to travel. We enjoy spending time together. Um, you know, I woke up one day and I looked at Amy <laughs> and I said, you know what, Amy? I love our lifestyle. Yeah. We, we really do love it. I mean, uh, you just, we're together all the time. We get to see each other all the time. Um, and, uh, you know, we just have fun times planning what we're going to do, you know, the next day or what we're going to do, you know, in a week from now or whatever. We just have so much fun planning out what we're going to do because we like to do a lot. We like to, to a mountain bike. We like to snorkel. We like to hike. Those are our three main things, and you need a lot of uh, <laughs> cargo carrying capacity and space to, to to do those things. So yeah, we like you said, we like to do a lot of things, and so it means we have stuff. And I, I cook, and I love to cook, and yes. so that's why I like the kitchen island and cabinets and pantry, uh, but I still found that it may not be entirely, you know, fun in this setup we'll see um we 
want to go to the nat as many national parks as we can. So that's one of our goals. Another goal is to visit along the way friends and family um, who have moved away or we moved away from where they were. Um, and the other thing we want to do is hit some bucket list items, which we have started to do. So um, we do like to spend extended time in an area. Um, for us, we have found that we don't like to move as quickly as maybe some other people do. Yeah, so. the, this is the second thing on the list is how we're actually how we're actually doing this. How do we did how we did it? And um, yeah, we, we we bought the travel trailer, and um, we bought an F four fifty F three fifty as we talked about, and we also did um, what's uh, a thousand uh, what's, what is, it's a thousand trails. Yeah membership so we have like harvest host and rpi through the thousand trails we have passport america mm -hmm. um we figured out our internet we'll go through this stuff yeah you know later on yeah, um, just a brief i just wanted overview. this to be you know a, a kind of a why we did what we did and people say we're crazy we do get you're crazy or we get oh my gosh you're doing what i want to do later on in life or oh my goodness i wish i could do that now yeah so and we tell people, you can do it now. People are like, oh, no, 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 I can't. Oh, you can. If you want to do something yeah. bad enough, you will find a, a way. way. Exactly. It does take a little bit of planning. Sometimes life gets in the way. Um, again, his brother and father died at the end of 2016. 2017, we started planning. Mm. My sister got breast cancer, so we kind of like just kind of left things hanging for a while. Yeah. And then my niece, her only daughter... She had cancer as well, right after yeah. my sister got done. Life gets in the way, It did, guys. and life got in the way for a while. And the funny thing is, when COVID hit, we're just like, we were in the process of purchasing this anyway. That's right. So, we were able to get out and camp last year in uh, 2020 during COVID. First locally in New Hampshire, and then we did were able to go to Maine, and then a private place in, in Vermont as well. Um, so that worked out good for us. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, it's 2021 now. We started our full-time journey after, again, selling our house sooner than we yeah. thought. So there's probably going to be some changes. We already know um, the, that... Well, our, our vision for traveling yeah. basically is we like to stay in areas extended periods of time and explore those areas. Uh, we've seen a lot of um, full-time uh, YouTubers, they'll, you know, they'll just quickly go by places and I think you miss a lot like that. So well, we like it, to go and stay. It's your own travel style. It, it's your own travel style. We're not saying that our style is any, any better than anybody else's. It's just the way we choose mm -hmm. to travel. And we choose to go into areas for a long period of time and kind of search out that area. So the videos you'll see uh, on our channel will be, uh, you know, places that we loved, uh, state parks, you know, uh, places where we, you know, like uh, national parks where we visited and what we did, when we, you know, where we mountain biked, uh, where we snorkeled, you know, um, hiked or where we hiked, just, you know. And then our bucket list stuff. Exactly. You'll see stuff like that on our channel. And, um, you know, we, we found some just amazing places, some amazing state parks. Florida and Georgia have a, amazing state parks. Yeah, so far, I mean, we've obviously stayed at New Hampshire state parks, but Florida and Georgia so far, the state yeah. parks we've stayed at there. Yes. Have, have been amazing. They've been amazing. Absolutely. And we go to Harvest Host, uh, for mm -hmm. some of the, you that don't know what that is, um, they basically, it's like wineries, um, breweries, Farms. Yeah. Um, like we've stayed at an alpaca farm. Yep. We've stayed at an animal rescue farm. Yes. We've stayed at a winery. Yeah. We've stayed at breweries. Exactly. We've stayed at, um, oh, this cute little place in, in uh, Draper, Virginia. It was the Draper Mercantile. And it yes. Was, it was just a great historic little Oh, yeah. Little the town. cows come right up <laughs> beside our camper. You'll we, see some of those. I'll show you, you a little yeah, video you will of, see, of me messing um, around with the cows. Yep, I'm a big old cow, and I like to chew my food from side to side to side, see? I like to eat grass, lots of grass, and I like looking at people.
with funny looking cameras. <laughs> Moo. You, you will see. We have <laughs> I, I kinda, times. She's always loved cows, but I kind of kind of fell in love with cows myself after this, uh, after that time. So our we, first little season funny. is, is kind of over right now. Our first Yeah, our first season we were out for like trip. four months. Yeah. So during that time, he's grown to love cows and grits. So I'm really right. happy. And I've grown to I love beer love. even more than I did before. <laughs> I don't think you can love it more than I do actually. <laughs> anyway, so we, um, yeah. So we will be starting to release our first season soon. Yep. And then uh, go from there. We might throw in some real time stuff here and there. Um, That's right. Yeah, because we do have some things planned. We got some bucket lists, things we want to do. We have some uh, na more national parks. I mean, that was Lots how this whole more. thing started out. Was <laughs> we want to visit all the national parks. I mean, we may not visit all of them all. because some I'm of them you gotta doing, fly to. Yeah, I'm not doing the bush plane. But um, yeah, we do. <laughs> we do basically realize now that um, you know, of course, we live in an amazing country. Thank goodness, we have so many places to see in America. Yep. Um, we may not be able to get through Canada like we thought to to go to Alaska. That we'll was a, that was a plan we had. Maybe to, uh, we we're going to take our grandkids to Alaska, but it's supposed think to be next summer. That's but going to be. Um, it's being in the United States. Reimagined. Probably and we're somewhere. staying here, but we yeah. still. So we're still going to have them parks. probably for like three weeks. So um, we're totally excited about that. Stealing them for at least three weeks. The oldest two. The oldest two right grandkids. Right now we have four, but the oldest two. Right. Will be going. They're there. excited about it. They're helping us plan. They're going to you know tell us exactly what they want to do and kind of uh, sell it and to why. us. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll see how that comes out and yeah. uh, look forward to having them on the channel too. And uh, Dylan is uh, amazing as far as technical. He may be able to help me film and do some <laughs> editing and hopefully that would be great. Actually, they both, they both, they both, like uh, they both yeah, uh, you know, they and, uh, uh, you know, so they're great kids. And so, yeah, we're looking forward to that. So, yeah, so we'll throw some real time in along with the season one as we're releasing it. Um, I plan on doing um, a vlog yep. that will match whatever we're posting we on out. the video on yep. our YouTube channel. So Exactly. So don't forget to subscribe yes. to our channel if you like. You want to see more. Also, hit that little bell. That will notify you yep. when our new videos come out. And uh, you know, give, give us a thumbs give us up. A thumbs up. You know, so give us a thumbs up. And, or now, uh, if you really don't like it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to get my feelings hurt because I'm going to do what I want to do. So. <laughs> yeah, and, and comment below if you want to on uh, this video and uh, things that you would maybe like to see from us. Right. Um, we're going to be heading uh, down to Florida again and then over to Texas and then we're going to head up west. Yes. Out west. So, some stuff that you've maybe seen or maybe you've done. Maybe in Florida or Texas or out west, and some suggestions for where we could take the grandkids for three weeks. Um, yeah, we're planning that one. Comment below. We, we'll we'll just, uh, you know take any suggestions you want to give. So uh, yeah, we look forward to this uh, this adventure continuing, and uh, yeah. Yes, we have a lot. We have a lot to share. We have a lot to share. Yes. It's just a matter of of getting it all organized onto a video. But um, yeah, so yeah. this is the start. Yeah, we look forward to spending, sharing our time with you, which is kind of like spending time with you. Yeah, we hope to be able to add some videos that will help you learn if you're new to RVing. Um, I'm gonna try to do more of the, you know, learning stuff, um, you know, and stuff like that. But uh, really more right now, uh, a lot of our videos are gonna be based on some of the places we go and the adventures that mm, we do absolutely. and uh, some of the fun that you can have um, you know there's plenty of videos out there that can teach you how to empty your black tank uh, I don't think I need to get into that stuff <laughs> so yeah it's kind of a crappy subject <laughs> it's a real crappy subject <laughs> yeah it's not a fun thing I, I've had some not too good experiences with uh, black tank ah, everything's and, and a learning experience it totally is because it our totally old campers is. We didn't have, we have, had we didn't some, have showers, toilets, black tanks. We, we have, have had that. some experiences have with the caterpillars. 
Oh yeah. Oh man. Oh yeah. Yeah, and and uh, no seams. Mm -hmm. We'll we'll go into those. Yes. You're gonna love that. Oh my gosh, this is one big lesson you've all got to <laughs> learn, and we'll save that for another video, we and we'll save the caterpillars too. So yes. yeah, stay tuned stay and tuned. Uh, follow us. Yes. All right. Have a great day, guys. See ya. That was pretty good. All right. <laughs>